Uh, good morning, dear students and all the viewers. It's me, Indramani Gewali, Math Facilitator for Grade 10. Welcome you all in my today's class. So today I have got different objectives. So first objective of today's class is, okay, we are going to discuss about half cylinder. What is half cylinder? How do we obtain half cylinder? And what are the different terms that are related to half cylinder? Let's have a look on the slide. Okay, we can see on the slide that there is a title half cylinder. This is also called semi-cylinder or hemi-cylinder. So when we cut, okay, this is a solid object cylinder. When we cut this cylinder vertically along its axis or along the length or lengthwise, we obtain half cylinder. So we can have a look on the board. This is a half cylinder which has different surfaces. What are the different surfaces of this half cylinder? The front part, this is flat surface, rectangular surface. Back part of half cylinder is, this one is curved surface and on the base and top, there are semicircular faces. So in fact, there are three different surfaces in half cylinder. What are these three different surfaces? Flat surface, rectangular flat surface in the front. Back part is curved surface and base and top are okay, semicircular faces. Now, what are the different terms different parameters which are related to this half cylinder. Let's begin from area of base. First of all, what is area of base? Area of base of this half cylinder. We know base of this half cylinder is semicircle and area of semicircle is one half of one half of area of a circle. So one half of pi r is square. So pi r is square over 2 gives area of base of this half cylinder which is semi circle. Similarly, now next is what is lateral surface area, total surface area and volume of this half cylinder. We are going to discuss now how do we obtain the lateral surface area of this solid lateral surface area of half cylinder is in fact the meaning of lateral surface is area of surfaces around the sides area of surfaces around the sides so what are the different surfaces around the sides we can observe in the figure, one is flat rectangular surface in the front part of solid and other is half okay, curved surface area of cylinder. So this is lateral surface area of half cylinder is area of area of flat surface plus area of curved surface. Area of flat surface plus area of curved surface gives lateral surface area of this solid. So what is area of flat surface? So this surface is flat rectangular surface. So we know the area of rectangle is okay, length times breadth. So length is height of cylinder here, height of half cylinder and okay breadth is diameter so this is length is here height height of half cylinder times what is breadth diameter plus area of curved surface this is half cylinder so curved surface or okay surface at the back side is half of one half of curved surface area of cylinder, this is 2 pi r times h. We have 
derive this formula 2 pi r s is curved surface area of cylinder. So, this is half. So, one half of 2 pi r times h. So, we can cancel 2 here h times diameter is twice of radius 2 r plus pi r h. So, this is equal to 2 r h plus pi r h. This is lateral surface area of half cylinder. Similarly, now what is the total surface area of this solid? Obviously, total surface area is area of all the surfaces including base and top. If we simply add area of base and top in lateral surface area, then we obtain the total surface area of this solid. So, total surface area, total surface area of this solid is lateral surface area, lateral surface, lateral surface area plus area of base and top. Base and top are semicircular faces. So, what is okay area of area of semicircular faces semicircular faces what is the lateral surface area lateral surface area is 2 r s 2 r s plus pi r s plus area of semicircular faces so there are two semicircular faces area of one semicircle is pi r square over 2 plus area of other semicircle is pi r square over 2. Now, sum of okay, these two terms pi r square over 2 and pi r square over 2 sum of these two terms gives pi r square because when we add two semicircles we obtain a complete circle. So, this is equal to 2 r h plus pi r h plus this is pi r square. So, this is the total surface area of this solid. Now, next term related to this semi cylinder is okay, volume. Volume is it is simple. What is the volume of cylinder? It is pi r square h. Volume of cylinder is base area times height. So, what is the volume of half cylinder? It is one half of volume of cylinder. So, volume is volume of half cylinder is one half of volume of the cylinder. So, what is the volume of cylinder? Area base pi r square times height or length. So, pi r square h over 2 gives volume of this semi cylinder. Okay, let us take one practice question related to semi cylinder. Let us see on the slide now. Okay, let us read out the question. We can see the solid object in the figure on the slide is half cylinder, where the length or height of half cylinder is 35 centimeter and its radius is 7 centimeter. With the help of these two informations, after knowing height and radius, we can find lateral surface area. We know the concept of lateral surface area, total surface area is here, total surface area and its volume. So, we can practice this question. Two informations are known, okay, height and radius. After knowing these two informations, height, height and radius, we can easily calculate its surface area, its lateral surface, total surface and volume. 
okay now next topic is hollow cylinder again let's have a short look on the slide hollow cylinder is a uh, okay pipe we can simply guess like water pipe in this topic we are going to just talk about what is the volume of material contained by hollow cylinder or a pipe you can see on the slide okay capital R is external radius that means the distance from center to the external surface and small r is internal radius that is distance from center to the inner surface of the hollow cylinder so if we know external radius internal radius and height or length of the cylinder we can find volume of the material contained by a cylinder or a pipe that is simply external volume minus internal volume we know the volume of cylinder is pi r square h we need to find external volume internal volume and then we subtract internal volume from external volume to obtain volume of material contained by hollow cylinder so let's draw figure so i'm drawing the figure so we can draw this figure okay so hollow cylinder we need some informations to find the volume of material contained by hollow cylinder okay suppose this is the center of circular face it's hollow cylinder let me complete the figure first then we will write down the formulas okay the distance from the center to the external surface is external radius let me write r okay capital r similarly distance from the same center to the inner surface this is internal radius so i'm writing a small r if the height or length height or length of this hollow cylinder is h now what is the formula to find volume of material contained by this hollow cylinder in fact okay this is the thickness the reason which is said it in the figure is thickness in fact so material is used to make this hollow cylinder so we are calculating we are writing the formula to find volume of material is to make this hollow cylinder for this we need to know external radius r internal radius and its height so volume of material volume of material used in making hollow cylinder is external volume minus internal volume so external volume b external minus internal volume external volume minus internal volume gives volume of material used in making hollow cylinder so what is the formula to find external volume simply we should know what is the formula to find volume of a cylinder is pi r square h this area times height gives volume of a cylinder so for external volume okay we need to use external radius this is pi r square h 
minus for internal volume we have to use okay in small r internal radius pi r is square h we can take pi h common so this is r is square minus r is square so pi h times r is square minus r is square okay capital r is square minus small r is square gives volume of okay metal or any material used in this hollow cylinder or a pipe for this we need to know okay three different parameters here three different we require three different values one is external radius internal radius and then length or height or if we know the thickness of thickness so this is thickness if we know the thickness okay let me denote by t we can find volume after knowing thickness one of the radius internal or external and then height okay let's take one question it's similar with this concept we can see on the slide now i am displaying one slide that is related to volume of hollow cylinder or water pipe let's have a short look on the slide now let's have a look on the slide it's a hollow cylinder we can read out the question a hollow met cylindrical metallic pipe is 21 cm long this is the length or height if the external and internal diameters of the pipe are 12 cm and 8 cm find the volume of metal used in making the pipe simply diameters are given external diameters and internal diameters are given so we can find out radius external radius and internal radius we can find out these informations external radius is half of the external diameter internal radius is half of the internal diameter and height is known after knowing these informations internal radius external radius and height or length of this cylinder we can easily calculate the amount of metal or the volume of metal used in making the pipe now let me move into the next topic it's okay we are discussing now a sphere again let's have a look on the slide now what is a sphere what are the different terms related to a sphere how do we find surface area and volume of a sphere we are going to talk about this a sphere is okay perfectly round 3d object having curved surface we can see in the figure a sphere is a perfectly round okay 3d object having curved surface for example we have seen lots of examples of spheres like okay basketball is one of the example of a sphere there are okay cricket ball there are other examples too in today's class now we are discussing about a sphere and under this topic we will learn what is the surface area of a sphere and its volume for this we can verify surface area of a sphere is 4 pi i square by one activity let's do this activity now it's simple we can do one activity to verify the surface area of a sphere for this we require a sphere and cylinder having same radius let me take a sphere of radius r this is a sphere having radius r and one cylinder having same radius r where radius of a sphere and cylinder should be equal let me take draw a cylinder whose radius is equal to the radius of the sphere and if 
the height of cylinder if the height of cylinder is equal to diameter of the sphere let me repeat it again we are verifying surface area of a sphere by taking one sphere and cylinder having equal radius and diameter of a sphere diameter of a sphere and height of cylinder are also equal so diameter of a sphere and height of cylinder are also same in this way if radius of a sphere and radius of cylinder are same and height of a sphere so the height of okay cylinder is equal to diameter of a sphere then that a sphere could be easily fitted in the cylinder you can see on the slide again let's see on the slide here the sphere is fitted in the cylinder so now we can verify that the surface area of a sphere is equal to the curved surface area of the cylinder so we know what is the curved surface area of cylinder here surface area surface area of a sphere is equal to surface area of a sphere is equal to curved surface area of cylinder so what is the curved surface area of cylinder it's 2 pi r times h now according to our activity height of cylinder is equal to diameter of the sphere where diameter is always twice of radius so 2 pi r times h is height of cylinder which is equal to height of cylinder is equal to diameter of a sphere so height is diameter is twice of radius 2 times r so it gives me 4 pi r square so the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r square this is total surface or its curved surface is same because a sphere has curved surface so this is the way to verify surface area of a sphere there are okay many ways we can do other activities too to verify the surface area of a sphere now for volume we can do similar activity for volume so volume of a sphere is directly i am writing the formula so volume of a sphere volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi times r cube 4 over 3 pi r cube it gives the volume of a sphere and 4 pi r square is surface area of a sphere now after okay we discussed about half cylinder hollow cylinder and surface area of a sphere and then its volume now let me talk about what is hemisphere and okay great circle again let's have look on the slide hemisphere and grid circle now we are talking about hemisphere and grid circle let me show a sphere so this is a solid okay sphere it is perfectly round okay 3d object and we say this is a sphere when we cut a sphere okay this is a solid sphere when we cut a sphere from its center we can obtain okay hemisphere so each half of the sphere this is a whole sphere when you cut it each half of the sphere is called hemisphere now what are the okay curved surface total surface and 
column of hemisphere. In a hemisphere, now we can see hemisphere has okay two different surfaces. In the front, you can see this is okay circular face. This is circular face, plane surface, and this one is curved surface. So in fact, this hemisphere has one plane surface, okay, circular face, and other is curved surface. So what is the curved surface area of this hemisphere? What is total surface area and what is the volume? So we will shortly talk about this. We are discussing hemisphere which is half of the sphere. We can see the plane surface of this hemisphere is called great circle. When we cut a sphere into equal to parts, we obtain hemisphere and in a hemisphere there is a circular face or plane surface. This plane surface, this part, front part, this plane surface of hemisphere is called a great circle where circumference, area of great circle are same as the area of circle and circumference of the circle. Let me draw here a hemisphere. We can draw a hemisphere and then we can discuss what is the curved surface area and volume. So this is plane surface, circular face and this is curved surface. So curved surface is one half of this curved surface is one half of the surface area of a sphere. So one half of surface area of a sphere, this is 2 pi r square. Now what is the area of this circular face? Okay, it's pi r square. So curved surface area of hemisphere is simply 2 pi r square. Curved surface area is 2 pi r square. What is total surface area? So total surface area is always lateral surface or curved surface plus area of okay base. So here we can say lateral surface is curved surface and okay the top one is semi sorry circular face. So what is the total surface area? Total surface area is area of curved surface plus plane surface. So 2 pi r square plus pi r square is 3 pi r square. Similarly, what is the volume? Volume is volume of hemisphere is half of the volume of sphere. So one half of volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. It's 2 over 3 pi r cube. So these are the okay, important concept for hemisphere. Okay. The time for today's class is over. Thank you all for okay watching live class and have a wonderful day ahead. Stay safe. So namaste, namaste, namaste.